is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And in today's video, I am going to be taking you guys along on an artistic journey with me. That is right. In today's video, we are going to be taking one of my blank death mask casts and bringing it all the way to completion, much like I do with your mom every weekend. Not only was that a mom joke, but it also rhymed, and I didn't even mean to do that. So yes, in today's video, we are going to be painting up a special death mask for Pale Fest, and I will fill you guys in a little bit on what exactly is going on with these death masks. But first, for anyone watching this that doesn't know exactly what a death mask is, essentially it is just a mold of someone's face. These are casts from a mold directly off of someone's face. Yes, they can be alive, they don't have to be dead, I don't know why that is still a question. A death mask just refers to the technique in which the mask is created. So yes, you can still be alive and have a death mask. Anyways, I had an old look in 2016 that I used often for concerts and conventions, and I had a completely custom sculpted mask done up by Connor DeLess for that look, and I've been rocking that look for so long that I decided it was time to retire it after the open house last year. So around the first of this year, I did my final photo shoot with that mask, and it was officially retired. Well, right around that same time, Bishop over at Paleface had the idea to do AJ Good death masks. And the original idea was just to make them and sell them. But for some reason, everything just fell into line and I had this really good idea where I wanted to take all of the looks of my inspirations and put them on my face. It just seemed to make sense. I literally wouldn't be doing what I do. I wouldn't have my career or my hobby or my passions without these people. So it just seemed to make sense to do subtle nods to those people. So, so far, we have a John Rice in Behemoth look. We also have a Wes Borland look. And we've got some other looks that I can't quite show you yet unless you're a patron. Patrons get to see everything. And I mean everything. But aside from me wanting to do my own looks, we still wanted to sell these things. So we are doing a very limited run at Pale Fest. Now, I can't tell you too much about these Pale Fest limiteds, but I can tell you a few things. Some of it is just too special and I don't want to give it all away, so you'll either have to be a patron or wait till Pale Fest to see exactly what I'm talking about. The things that I can tell you are that these will be extremely limited. They will be signed and numbered, and they are are all 100% hand done by me, meaning each one is one of a kind. Not a single one of these looks like the next. They all have their very own identities, and like I said, they are signed, numbered, and completely done by myself. Never to be done again, so they are pretty special. Now, the only way that you guys have seen them is if you are a patron or you've tuned into some of the live streams where I am doing them while streaming. With that being said, not all of them will be featured on the channel, but this is one of them. I will be doing doing this one on this video for you guys to see from start to finish to give you a little bit of an idea of what I'm going for, how they are created, and something to look forward to at Pale Fest. Now with all that being said, we are going to go ahead and hop on into it. And obviously the first thing that we have to do is cut this thing out. Once we get it cut out, we will start on the paint job. I am going for some sort of corpse paint style look today, which means that it should be pretty simple. And the only things that I am using are some face paint. This is the actual face paint that I use on my face when I am doing my looks with these death masks and we will be using some acrylic paint. Now we will obviously seal all of this in with a matte or satin clear coat. It depends on how the mask looks and which way I want to go with it but that's not too important. The main things that you guys are going to need if you are trying to do something like this at home is going to be the face paint and the acrylic paint and a couple different sized paint brushes. Now with all that being said, we can go ahead and hop on into this and not waste any more time. So enjoy the time lapse and I will see you guys at the end.
Perfect.
All right, guys, there we have it. A pretty simple little corpse paint style paint job there. This one definitely isn't the most intricate paint job. It's not the fullest paint job, but it was just something fun and cool and a little idea that I had that I figured why not apply it to one of these. If you guys would like to see the other pieces, which are all a little fuller than this, if that makes any sense, there's a little more going on on those make sure to go sign up for Patreon. It's five bucks a month. You get to see all sorts of cool stuff like things that I don't show the general public. You get early access to all my videos. You get to vote in polls. You get to see scores way before they come. And sometimes you get to see scores that no one else gets to see anyways. It's five bucks a month and you guys get all sorts of cool rewards and you get to support the channel. The link to Patreon will be down below. I would really appreciate that. But for right now, that is going to do it for today's video. So I hope Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave me a like down below. It definitely helps the channel. And until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to corpse paint. And we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.